Hi, I'm Dean Argent, University Qualified Mechanical Engineer and I'm the owner of usedvehiclesales.com.au and in this video I'm going to take you on a walkthrough of this automatic RAV4 2007 model that I have for sale here on my yard. Now first thing you're going to find with this car is the excellent condition all round that I'm going to show you. So if you have a look, I'm looking for stone chips and stuff like that. Like there's a few minor little... Oh, there's me. Hello. <laughs> there's a few minor little bobs and bods like that but they're so few like you look down the side here have a look I'm looking for dents see the shadows the shadows and the reflection actually give away all the dents well there isn't any I'm so I'm hedging this car was parked right up the other end of the car park well away from everything so that it didn't get any dents you know when they went shopping and stuff so um, the other thing I like to look at is the condition of the tires see how there's no wear out on one edge more than the other I mean these tires are in pretty new shape but their tyres are wearing evenly which tells me that all the front end suspension geometry and all that stuff's working just nicely. So as we walk around you see we've got the um, alloy wheels and the colour coded mirrors. Now I really like this feature because it makes the mirrors and the bumper bar all flow in together and the alloy wheels just set it off nicely. So got the tinted windows, keep the sun out, keep the heat out. Got the roof racks up on top there for storing your loads and the sunroof. We're going to have a look inside at that one in a minute. I get excited about sunroofs, roofs, roofs. So um, let's walk around the back. I'll put my hand over there. Act as a bit of a shake because I'm looking into the sun at the moment. Here we go. Oh, good tidy condition. She's the Cruiser L. L means leather. Oh, the door's locked, hold on. Got the key here for the... Here we go. Now, as we come in the back here, the RAV4s, the doors open up like that which is a cool thing because if you're going to be putting prams and stuff in there like if you look down there oh hold on holding the thing in the wrong place see where my leg is there hairy pins and all that's just at knee height that bar there that bumper bar so pretty easy to put your pram and your shopping and all that stuff in there without having to bend over too far you know that's that's the good thing now one of the things i really like about these revs is this feature here so as i pull on it the seat flops down Give that a little pull, bam, down goes the seat. Same on this side. So if you've got, oh, okay, well maybe not this time, but there we go, I'll just loosen that up. So if you've got that center seat belt disconnected, it just retracts back up there into the roof. But um, look at all that space. There's just buckets of it. Tons, you could sleep in there. So, I mean, I don't know why they didn't work out to do that, to pull them back up. <laughs> now I've got to climb in there and lift them up, but that's cool. Have a look here, look at all the space down in there. Ah, oh, that jack's normally up on the side there, we'll put that in there after. But um, there's enough space in there for a naughty kid. <laughs> you can jam him in there, keep him out of your way. Got another one there for, you know, something else, a few other small things, and then you got your space up on top. So there's plenty of storage and stuff going on in this model of RAV, they really got it right. So then when we go back in here, I lift these seats back up, push that back. Notice how the back seats recline which I think is an awesome feature. Um, let's pull that back up there. See, that one's not reclined, and this one is. Got the leather seats. Not too many of these RAVs have got them, but it's a good feature. Power windows all around, so you don't have to do the manual hand crank windy thingy. Same again just here. Let's have a look at the condition of them. This, is, this car's in great condition. Got the RAV4 floor mats, automatic. I'm going to come around there in a sec and open up whoops, sunroof, and open up the uh, the dash and show you. Oh, one of the features I like to show everyone with these is this. You push that, and she pops up. You got a little hidey hole there, and the open dash there. There's the roadworthy and the books and all the service history and all that stuff's happening in there. So that's all good. It's been very well cared for, very well looked after. Oh, look at someone sticking his head under the gate. <laughs> He thinks he's a little puppy dog and he's not, he's an elephant. Now, let's come around in here. So we've got the power windows and everything controlled there. Locking, central locking here. And so as we open up the dash, all the lights start her up. I'm gonna try and do that. All the lights stay on except for, go out I mean, except for the seat belt light and the door open light. Aircon's icy cold, which you'd expect. Radio works nicely and you can pack six CDs in there. See up there, six disc up here. I'm just trying to block that sun off with my hand. 
there we go. It's got the SRS Circle Surround 2. Cool. Don't know what it is, but it's got it. <laughs> uh, down here we've got the time and the... Oh, this dual zone climate control. That sun, there we go, that's got it. Now, what this is about is... Oh, is that sun? How do I do this? Like that. So if I... If I turn this one here on the driver's side up to like 22, leave that one on 18, if you're like anything like my wife and I, she likes to have it like at about 36 degrees, I like to have it at 18, or well, this car allows it. So he's, or the driver's side, or this side is one temperature, this side's the other temperature, or if you turn dual off, then they both become the driver's temperature. Cool, huh? No more argument about whether it's hot or cold. You control the radio from here, which is cool. You control the cruise control, which is there, so you don't have to hold your foot on the throttle on long trips. Now, this one here is the awesome feature. It's got the DAC. And you turn that on, and that little green light on there flashes, see? There's something to do with downhill acceleration control or something like that. But look at these. The bum heaters. The seat heaters. All it does is you turn on left, a little light comes on, turn on right, a little right comes on. That heats the left and the right seat. Now, if I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, there's only one thing they're good for in Queensland. It's when you come back from the beach and the person beside you's got the towel wrapped around them and their wet shorts and all that, and then you turn their seat heater on and they get an itchy bum. <laughs> That's what I reckon they're good for. Maybe we'll close that back up. So there we have this 2007 RAV4 with a sunroof. Look at that. Looking out the front, driving along like that. That's all good fun. And... I think that just about covers it. I'll turn this off. Now, I'll get the key because I did press that lock button and I don't want to lock the keys in. I've done that before. Now, so let me tell you a few things this car comes with that you see for the price that it's advertised here. It comes with this Queensland Government Certified Roadworthy Certificate, so that's all included in the price. Stamp duty transfer fee, plate fee, this fee, that fee, it's all included. The car will come with six months registration. That'll be included in the price as well just been through our mechanical uh, check it's been a 140 point check it's come up really really well like an excellent mechanical uh, inspection result just like all the RAV4s do but this one's come up particularly good uh, just been serviced so you won't need to do any scheduled servicing for a hundred uh, for the next 10,000 k's or the next six months nothing's due because we've done it all for you um, what else guaranteed no money owing on the car when you come and have a look, I'll show you the paperwork, which shows you there's no money owing on it. And I can also show you how it hasn't been um, written off or anything like that. So if you need help with your finance, that's cool. There's a link up the top of this website somewhere that shows you how that all works. Why is that blurry? Ah, oh, there we go. There's a link up the top that shows you how all the finance works. If you click on that, put your application in, the finance guy will take over and he'll keep in touch and we can go from there. My name's Dean Argent. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to come down and kick tyres or kick me if you want, you can do that. Come down, have a look, just uh, take it for a drive, buy it, whatever. It won't be for sale long. I've priced it incredibly cheap. It's going to move quick. So um, there it is, 2007 RAV4. Thanks for watching this video and hope to be talking to you soon. Bye for now.